subject. We're starting on a new subject today that we uh, picked last week. And um, I want to talk a little bit about framing. Okay, because I want you to notice as we're here, um, and a couple of things. Let's look at the color picture first. Because the color picture is like super exciting, right? All the colors are great. This is very fun. Um, and I want you to notice how similar the darks of the red are to the darks of the car in the front, right? Uh, we like to think of red as this bright, very light color. Mm -hmm. But it isn't necessarily, right? So that's number one. I want you to look at that. Number two, this was taken from, as a lot of our images are from Unsplash, where we have permission. Um, and uh, one of the things I want you to really be aware of, this is a cell phone camera photo. It's panorama. It will not, we can't fit it onto a standard canvas. So we're going to need to nip it in. Um, we're going to need to. And uh, I looked at it and made a couple of decisions. So I'm going to pull this in. Number one, we're going to pull the top and the bottom in. Right. So that we don't have because I noticed that uh, uh, it's easy for people to get confused when you can see the borders of things and that we're not supposed to be painting them. But still, that's way too skinny, right? These proportions aren't really correct. So I made the hard decision of taking out the bicycle. I still, I still think this is gonna be a really awesome uh, mm. photo. Do you see how now proportions are a little bit more in line with what we're gonna be working? Now this is smaller, right? But proportionally, it's a little bit more similar. And in fact, probably I should. You did a, a touch more. I want to make sure I'm not wrecking. Yeah, I like this. So this is ultimately the subject we're going to be working with to in the next two weeks. Um, let me tape it down. Does everybody understand what I just did there? You understand yeah. why I did what I did? Um, if you try to... And I, and I believe this is really a single vanishing point perspective painting. So we'll talk about that as well as we start the drawing. You have to think about things like this when you're translating over. Now, those of you who want to, you have a picture of the bike. You can add the bike in if you want to, but I don't think it's gonna work as well as this subject will. So, um, and I think it's still an awesome subject, like super compelling. Uh, so my second question is, uh, what is the vanishing, like how are we gonna find the vanishing point? Well, A, what is the vanishing point and why is it important? And B, how are we gonna find it? How are we gonna find it? It's nice to see everybody here, by the way, fabulous. How do we find the vanishing point? It's like what is the vanishing lot. point? Uh, like on the on the horizon, the the where all the lines go, it's like right. all, all the roads are leads to Rome. So right. this is the vanishing point. Exactly. So all these lines, they are not perpendicular. They're not parallel, right? Each one is angled slightly differently, which means they're going to meet in a certain place. And so if I want to find out where that is, I'm going to follow. This is a good Russian for us, right? Because it really does. And even like the wide, you see, even like this. So do you guys see what, how everything goes to a single point? It meets in a single point. This is what we call the vanishing point. So the vanishing point is just a quick review. Let's see. That's something I can show you. This is a quick review. Um, so I'm looking for a piece of paper I can sketch on. Ah, 
we probably all remember this from grade school. Did anybody learn to do this? Right? You learn how to draw a road. Did I, ever, is there anybody who did not learn how to do this in school? I didn't learn that. How old are you, Louise? 30. 30, okay, you're pretty, yes, you're young. So you're of the younger generation. As kids, did you ever learn how to draw a cube? Uh, mm, yeah, yeah. Like that? Yeah. Right, you did not, you did not learn this. No. So, this is drawing a road going away from us, right? And it's and this is where perspective becomes something that we don't expect on the flat surface. Is this road really rising up off the ground? No. 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 Uh, is it really wider here than it is here? No. Right. So what's happening is as things move away from us in space, we have something called cone vision, which makes things look like they rise, uh, look like they get narrower and narrower until they meet at the horizon line in what's called a vanishing point. Right. The vanishing point is just simply where lines uh, that are on the same in the same plane meet as they go up and <clears throat> because we can't draw in to the paper right our paper is flat we can only go this way or that way right we can't go that way um we we exaggerate our uh uh, uh things that are farther away from us always rise up a little bit um, that happens in a lot of different ways. Uh, here's one of them. You've got a cup, right, which is sitting flat on a table, but you never draw the cup like this. That doesn't look right, does it? Mm -hmm. The cup is actually, it's because the front of the cup, which is here, is sitting straight and the sides of the cup are moving up. And away from us. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, sorry, I'm late. Nice to see you. It's nice to so, see you too. <laughs> By the way, Sandra, that ink drawing of that little black kitty cat was fabulous. And if any of you haven't seen it, Take a look on the la on the thread. You will see it. Take a look Actually, on Sandra's I'll send Facebook it to page. you because it's changed. You know, that morning I was going to, that night, I was showing it to my brother. And he said, it looks old. And I said, yes, I know. And I don't know how to make it look younger. He said, make the fur darker. So that very morning before I gave it to her, I made the fur darker. And it made a huge difference. Yeah, that's now, awesome. I'll send you. I'll send you a photo on the front. I think it's my yes. best ink painting yet. Yes, but the beauty is I can't wait to see what the rest of them are doing. So, all right. So, oh, let's see. Yes, Sandra, it's fabulous. It's so incredible. I mean, <laughs> just and the like, seal. The seal came the, out very well with my new seal, seal from China. I love it. I love it. It's so wonderful. Okay, so going back to this idea of the vanishing point here. Um, so normally a vanishing point goes to eye level. And if we're doing a kind of stepping back view where we can see um, where the sky, right, meets the ground, that's where the vanishing point usually is. But in this particular <laughs> case in the city, we can't see that. Right? We can't really see that line where the sky meets the ground. It's all caught up in buildings. So we find the line. It's so cute. Right? So the vanishing point, which is eye level, is here. It's not down here, right? Which is where the ground is. It's actually up here. That's because if we could, if there was no building there, 
this is probably where the sky would hit the ground. There's a building there, so we have to kind of, we're, our, our, our view is truncated. Does anybody have questions about that? Does it make sense? This is why all the time I tell you, uh, once you get to perspective, let's put this over just a little bit so we can see it. Once you get to perspective, expect that the things you're expecting are not correct. You need to change the things that are, you're expecting. Ugh. Here we are. And I know, hang on. Computer isn't quite. There we go. So on your paper, what I like to do when I have a scene like this, let's see. What I like to do when I have a scene like this um, is to divide my, uh, just to divide my, I give myself a grid, but I don't give myself a big grid. I give myself, I'm just gonna divide each half in half. And I'm not even gonna draw the lines, I'm just going to mark them with a pencil. So here, where's my better ruler? Everything is somewhere else today. I don't know why. Ah, there it is. So here, I'm going to come here. And I can see that this is six. So I'm going to mark the three spot. All right, this is six inches. So I'm going to mark three here. I'm going to come over here. And mark three. Yes. Three here. And then I can, wait a minute, I'm gonna double check, make sure I get that right. Oh, no. Three here. And three here. And then I'm going to come across the center here. It's like seven and a quarter. You can use, by the way, you don't have to use, these numbers are not important at all because your, your, the size of your paper might be different. I'm just telling you what the halfway points are. So that's 3.5, here is about the halfway. So you see how I've marked the halfway, but I'm not connecting these lines. So, there we go. Okay, and then down here, I'm gonna find the halfway point. You all are going to do this with your paper. I'll walk you through doing that. Uh, notice I'm finding the halfway point here. I'm not even telling you the numbers because they aren't important for you to know. I'm using that wiggy. So you see, I now have my paper divided into four quarters. But, um, and I'll send a picture over so you can really see it. You can see the kind of yellow marks. So on my bigger paper here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna mark, so this is nine by 12, so six here. Six here, and then if I come here, this is nine, four and a half, me, this is the halfway point. So see how I've marked it kind of on each end so I know where things are. And then half and half. So you see now I have like these quarters defined. So I'd like you to do the same thing. This is how I use a grid. So, sorry, I'm trying to get you so you can see all of this. That's a little bit better. It's I annoying, I'm like, okay, come on. Mm -hmm. There we go. Better. It's better. Okay. 
So I can actually locate my vanishing point. So my vanishing point is literally halfway in between these two lines. Right. And then up a bit. Here's my vanishing point. Not too high. Well, let's see. To actually up higher than that. So it looks like about one, a third. One, yeah, one third above the yes. middle line. Yeah. Good job. My, my work is done here. When you guys say things like that, I think my work is done here. I know it's not done, but we're going to have a whole other year of this. But yes, so here is my vanishing point. So go ahead and identify. So that's the very first thing I'm gonna do. Go ahead and send it over when you have it. This says, I can see things are, this says vanishing. You don't have to say vanishing point. I've just labeled it there so you know what it is. So once you think you've got it, send it over to me and I will check it for you. Louise, this is not, I can't, um, uh, it's not taken straight on, it's taken at an angle. So can oh, you yeah. stand right over it? And yeah. also I have paint all over my phone, which is not your problem. It's mine. Hold on, I'm getting my thing. Let's see what dots are there. Yeah. That looks great. That looks great, Louise. <laughs> See, I've also got paint all over this, so I'm like, oh, which dot is theirs and which dot is mine? Hang on, Rashmi. Technical difficulties on my side. That looks great. Great. Good job, guys. How is your angel class going, Leo? It's good. I mean, it's still kind of on the smallish side, but I'm hoping things will grow. I was uh, talking to um... A colleague in Japan who would have been really interested, and he's got two kids, who would have been interested as well, very, very right age. Unfortunately, they have music lessons at that hour, so that's oh, why he has a Oh, that's too bad. Um, um, so. And I haven't seen anybody from India yet, even though I was told that I would if I ran this class at this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally, I'm, I'm just teasing you, Rashmi. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm totally giving you a hard time. <laughs> I'm totally not like really giving you a hard time. It's just fun to do it. Don't let me don't don't let me pick on you. <laughs> All right. And then of course, once you've got that, let's add in these lines. So the way I figure this out, here's like my sidewalk line, right? I use my let's see. So I use my kind of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start by sort of guessing. Here's where I think this line is and here's where I think this line is. And then there's a space in between. And then there's this line and this line. There's a space in between. Uh, that's pretty close. So I think I need to make this a little bit wider. The reason I'm saying that 
here. The reason I'm saying that is that here, so this will be here. Here's my other side. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the face in between. Yep. So you see, I'm getting kind of the starting points of where this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. And then all I need to do is take my straight edge and line up one side with my point here and line up every side to the vanishing point. So somebody said to me the other day, how do I check my angles? And I'm like, you know, as long as you locate your vanishing point, it's like the easiest thing. Oh, wait, I didn't want that. What is this? Thank goodness. This is when I always say, thank goodness for the electric eraser. Erase that. Where's my electric here? Getting confused with my lines. All right, so then this is this line, right? I, it's like, how do you check your angles? Well, you don't really check your angles as long as you locate the vanishing point and the starting and the end point, you've got it. I mean, it's magical. It's like so much of the work is done for you. I love it. Okay. This is like here and see, I just literally kind of, I have to kind of keep lining. You want to make sure you keep going with the vanishing point. So there's that one big one and then the two littler ones. I know they stop here, but we can erase them once we, right? We can erase these lines later. You'll also notice that this is true. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. The vanishing point can also help us with this R. Let's guess what else goes to the vanishing point? Kind of the top of the car, the wheels, and the way they line up, go to the vanishing point. I have no to say about vanishing. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. So it's magic. vanishing point was a huge discovery, huge leap forward. Isn't it amazing? Because I mean, it solves the problem. It solves the problem. <laughs> but my brother had explained to me about vanishing points and, you know, when they were discovered and then there were like two vanishing points and all that. But I didn't know how to use them. Right. I understood the concept, but I didn't know what to do to get right, to it. Right, right. Uh, Jessica gave us a really great uh, lecture on vanishing points, a very practical one, I feel, that helped a lot. I think that for the moment, this is it. And then you can see, here's, our, here's where our street ends. Yeah, I love it. I find it to be, people are like, oh, I hate the van. I'm like, you hate the vanishing point, really? Because you're never going to get it right. Without and it, even absolutely. Even without it, right? You'll never, and it's so painless. It, and it's so easy it's once you know what you're doing. Yeah, it's so easy. It's like, a, I like to say that drawing is a series of tricks, right? Of, of, of visual tricks. And part of the issue is, we're translating three dimensions to a flat surface. So things change uh, angles, they change size, right? Because we cannot, because literally, because we cannot draw back. That's sort of what happens. So let's see. And then just here, here's where, we'll get rid of these guys later. I can see that the top of this car literally goes at the halfway point between here and here. It starts here. And so everything, oops, everything 
below the vanishing point comes up. Everything above the vanishing point, like this car, goes down, right? Here is the wheel. The wheel is kind of right at the, let's see, I need to bring it in a bit. All right, so I know my car is going to be in between here and here. It's like super helpful. Uh, does anybody want to show me this or do you feel like you've got it? I, I'll take a picture as well. So you can see mine. I can see. Very. So here's where my big car is. And anytime we can kind of, and, and this is also how like we start to bisect drawings and paintings in a way that doesn't feel organic. The brain, the left brain wants to say car, car, street, sidewalk lamp blah, right but in this case we're kind of blocking out areas where car one and a little of car two and right the everything is here so let's see louise did you not use a ruler here it looks wobbly oh. to me yeah. Okay. I can tell. <laughs> I don't say. I don't, just I don't the, have a ruler. Sorry. Just so, use the okay. edge. Just use the edge yeah. of a piece of paper or a book yeah. or something. You don't. It's yeah. just a straight edge. You don't need a ruler. Yeah. Use a Use your tools. But it, honestly, you'll love it. You'll find it really helpful. will be so happy. Anybody else want to send that? So send it in when you get it to this point. And um, and you see, we use the grid, these uh, blocks to kind of generally show us where things go. I know that, for example, this car is going to kind of raise up above here, but not much. I can see the shapes. It's interesting. I love the, uh, to me, I find this a very soothing, once you really get into the sort of blocking things in, right? It's a soothing thing because you know then that once you start getting in the detail, you've got everything right. It's amazing to me how nobody teaches themselves how to do it this way. So there's stress in the drawing constantly because people are trying to, uh um how do you say it they're trying to like skip that process and then they get things in the wrong places so they've done all this work and then they realize oh my god i've got things absolutely wrong better there you go okay and then once we've got those we can start sketching in like about here here's where the wall is oh and by the way with the vanishing point well, the lines on the ground, right, and on the sky, on the street, are going towards the vanishing point. The vertical lines are straight up and down vertical. They are straight up and down. So we've got some significant verticals here. There's the wall, right? There's the street. The, the street lamp is vertical. This line here is vertical. Um, if you're struggling to make your uh, ruler straight, just look here, see how I'm lining up my straight edge, whatever it is, whenever you're using a book or whatever, lining it up with the top edge of the paper so it's not going like this, like this, then I know it's a straight edge. So here's my edge of my building. Just don't. I can see that. Uh, and also, I love this idea because it's so about relationships, right? And here, and then here is this straight line, which is right above the middle section, kind of goes here to about here until the car blocks it off. 
And then if you want to, you can erase these. So I don't think you'll need your vanishing point anymore. I'm going to keep this one and this one. I'm going to keep these lines because I haven't sketched in yet, but everything else I can kind of get rid of. And then look, there you go. And in fact, these guys kind of erase on this side, seem to go away about here. I'm clearly using the wrong tape here. I have a tape so you can stay up. And then really, we're going to get the car shapes in. And then really, everything else is just simple shapes, which is what's fun about this. It's kind of a simple shape thing. So now, Right, there is my shape of my car. On this side is the outer shape of the car. Here. Is the shape of this car. There's these lights in between. They're kind of like from the, so we wanna make sure there's room for those. You can already feel you guys rock and roll in this. Sandra, what are you working on today? Oh, she might be off feeding the cats. Except they're so quiet. <laughs> Not really, they're really loud when she's feeding them. I know, I've already fed them. I was just getting some water for the ink. Ah, I was like, is she feeding the cats? But the cats are normally like really loud when you. <laughs> I didn't come on until I'd actually fed them because I can go faster if I'm not this Right. They have us well trained, don't they? Oh, uh, yes. And it's raining, so I have to do it fast because they get annoyed. They can't go out in the garden. I normally prepare it while they're in the garden so I can be leisurely, but couldn't be leisurely. <laughs> I love it. Hang on, I'm grabbing another pencil. I'll be right back. Yes. All right. So as I get rid of, as I get rid of these, I'm starting Lydia, to can you see mine, please? Yes. Yes. Ani, looks good. Oh, Rashmi. So you did not pay attention to where this line actually is. Right, the bottom is below the quarter, this halfway point here. You put yours up here, and this you have it all the way up here. This yeah, because car is, I was, yeah, I was just trying to match it with the other one. 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't. Saying. There's no reason to do that, right? Like so. Um, yes, I do. Um, it, I think you're. Oh, I see. The biggest problem is your vanishing point is too high. Your vanishing mm -hmm. point should be no higher than one third from the halfway point. You have your vanishing point up here. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. So bring your vanishing point down. Change your lines so they end here, not up here. Got it? So erase this line and this line. Erase the top vanishing point, which is here. Bring it down here and then bring these and then just adjust these lines so that they come to one. What's that? Basically, it's to change. Like the whole thing needs to change, right? Yeah, yeah. You just need to bring everything. These yeah. angles will be sharper because you're bringing it down if i did see if i do this like you did um hold on i'll show you you'll see the line even if i start at the same point the line will be different can you see that the angle is different so my line my vanishing point needs to be at the right location i can't just randomly decide where to put it you know otherwise everything else will be off there we go. I thought you didn't don't you start by putting the vanishing point? Yes, but she put it in the wrong place. That's oh, what happened. So I was just showing her where that easy enough to do. And then you'll see, Rosh, that all these things will kind of line up more. Okay. And then once you've got that, of course. Let's see. I'm going to start here and then come down. Right. And let's see. Now, this really ends. This really ends. Here's my middle point here. It really ends kind of down here and a little to the right of the middle point. So as I'm sketching in, and notice, this is not a directly, this is not a straight curved line. In fact, it's a set of straight lines. I draw them really exaggerated so you can see them. See that? So this is like that. This is like that, that, and that. There are four plane changes. I'll mark them here too, so you can really see them. One, two, three, four. So that, and when I say plane change, I mean every time you come to this little stopping point here, it switches, the angle changes. So it's here, it's here here and then it ends if i come to my middle point here and i come down it ends about here and then it comes out lines up with the middle point angles out like this comes to that edge and then in. So look kind of odd. And then here is, so here, this will, we'll probably spend a lot of time here. So don't worry if you haven't quite got it. Look at the relationship in shape. This is going to be a fun one, I can tell. So, right, so I have this here in relation to this. Maybe this could come out a little further. Maybe this could come out a little bit further so that these two are a little closer together. Then I can get in these shapes. What are they? It doesn't even matter right now. They are actually reflections on the street, but really 
What I want to make sure is that they kind of I have room for everything. Here, let me take a picture of this so you can see it both the and then take your time on this section. This is the tricky one. Leah, could you please send the picture with uh, those um, additional lines yep. where you're changing the plane? I'm just doing it right now. Doing Thank it all. you. Thank you a lot. Doing it. You got it. And what I think is really amazing is we never could have done this. Um, you guys could have never, uh, like, like, at the beginning, you guys never would have been able to do that. Even understand you're, you're at such a level now where we can actually talk about these things, right? I'm proud of you. It's impressive. It's super impressive. And then here's mine. I'm gonna put it right here and I'll put it back on in a second. This is nuanced work. And Louise, I know you're the newest amongst this group. So if you're like, I don't really know what's going on. I'm just following the directions. Don't worry. It's interesting with drawing. You have to do a bunch of it before you even know that you need, say, for example, vanishing point. Right mm -hmm. when you muck it when you muck it up enough, then you know. <laughs> so, so yes. don't worry if it feels like I want you guys not to worry. Does it hit? Does this make sense? Just do your best to follow the directions. Uh, don't worry if it gets confusing. This is an entire new system of thinking. Yeah, Rosh, that looks great. Good job, honey. Make sure this line is vertical, straight up and down, not leaning. Okay. I have mine here is leaning a little bit because I didn't because okay. I I skipped over the um, the tape forced me to go a little bit sideways but it's really all verticals are straight up and down in a in a in a in perspective wise in a drawing like this the vertical lines are straight up and down the horizon it's lines are blessing, straight across right? it's the fit right yes exactly Sandra at least that's it's one other. thing that's easy. Um, the vert right you just know the vertical lines have to be up and down and even if they don't look like that they still are right so it, that's where you get to really start to correct yeah i know it's the easier way really such the easier way I'm going to grab a little bit more coffee. Fuzzy. Okay, see there's some here for me to look at. Uh, uh. 
feel like that looks pretty good, Louise. I think this car is too small. Okay. I'd scoot it a little bit more this way. All right. Make it a little bit. You see how you, isn't it amazing? Like if you look at this bottom space, you'll see it's thicker here, thinner here. It's not this halfway little neat thing. I know you want to make it that way. It's your left brain wanting to make things that way, even when they aren't that way. It's annoying as hell <laughs> because it's just not what's happening. But you want to, we want to. All right, and then of course, we're, we're gonna add in the last bit, which are these shapes. Right. I'm gonna just draw a space around. the shape i know that some of this is background some of this is like windows right this is a little bit more It's funny, this is not exactly what I would do, but it's kind of close to something I would do. So I'm finding it kind of interesting. It's not my normal, my normal jam. This yeah. is kind of a light, yes. Um, the center of this uh, page is towards the right side of the car, right? R right uh, tire of the car. There's the center. Yeah, this one, yes, yeah. right here. Yep, it's right here. Okay. Okay, so when okay. I'm trying to make make it, uh, my uh, the center point of my page is coming pretty close to that road, so it's like uh, more towards the left side of the car. I think take it, take a picture and send it over. I'll be able okay. to see it better. You might have to adjust something around it. Mm -hmm. There is. Yes. Okay. I would start me with this car. Don't start with this one. Okay. Place this one after you get this one. Erase this. Because you're too, it, you're going to adjust this based on, yeah. This fits after this bigger piece. Remember, we go from bigger to smaller, right? Because that's what's usually in the foreground. That's going to help you more. Ooh, this is going to be fun. And then here's the question, which is what do you guys think would be a good underpainting? I almost wonder if we should do like a yellow ochre underpainting just to really, or bright red or something. I don't know. I don't know if anybody has ideas about this. I'm thinking some bright yellow. Yeah, I was thinking yellow too. Um, let me get these last little lines in on the inner parts of the car, because here's where it's going to get tricky, of course. I want you to let go of what you think is happening and really pay attention just to the dark and light shapes. Um, Leah, I was a bit behind, but I just sent mine whenever. Okay, you're... hang on. Yes, I'm kind of sketching out for sure the last bits. Oh, I see that's what that is. It's the... 
Linda, this looks too small to me. Uh, what looks small? This looks too small to me. So this is the mirror, right? Mm -hmm. And you have it just mm. teeny tiny. It really yeah. should be here. And then there's these guys happening. And you've left no space for this here, right? Uh -huh. So yeah. erase that and restart it. Notice that the moment you start trying to draw what you think is there, that's when you mess it up, right? You draw your idealized idea of a window, of a mirror, rather than looking at the shape of this mirror. I, just that. I have a question that that What's light that? point between the top car and the mirror that's on the road right mm -hmm. that's not part of the mirror i think not important to know right now you got to get it in we'll look at it in the okay yeah color but version. the mirror I, but i'm thinking that the mirror is the wrong side is that i didn't put in that shape yet yeah you didn't put it uh you put it, this is the mirror, and this is, I believe, what's on the road. Yeah, I didn't put in the road thing. You put in uh, part of it. Yeah, you didn't put in the road at all. No, no, no not at all. Yeah, that's that's what's missing. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. the mirror could be a bit big. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would read, you're more missing this line than that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you've got it. So now we have things like the mirror, right? The window. This is going to be the thing that will take the most time. Uh, I'll send this over in just a second as soon as I do it myself. You can watch me demo me doing it. Yeah, these shapes are really just so abstracted. Uh, Sandra, I was asking, by the way, what are you working on? Oh, so I have another free commission to do. This is a friend also helped me a lot with cancer. Unfortunately, I've been putting it off because it's a dog that has died, and the pictures I have are very low resolution. Uh -huh. So it's very difficult. I just started an ink thing. I don't know if it's going to pan out. Eventually, I probably want to do it in watercolor because it's a golden dog. You can see, look, this is the picture I'm working from. Oh, that's a great look, one. But yeah, it doesn't you look get it. bad like that, except when you try to blow it up, you can't see anything. It's right, blue. right. You're going to have to, but you know, what's really nice here is you can use a little license in the areas where you like to do eyes. You kind of know what eyes do. So like, even though the eyes are kind of shadowed, but that's fabulous license parts. I'm going to have to, unfortunately, when you do take license, then do you end up with a proper likeness? Yeah, you do. We'll help you. I'll help you. It'll okay. be, we'll be, will you, I, this is a great practice. Sandra, I love that you're giving yourself, boy, it's a lot of pressure. As you know, it's really stressful, the whole <laughs> commission thing, but it does give you an incentive, right? To kind of keep going through hard things. Yes, fabulous. I had never gone through that much detail in eyes in ink, you know, normally ink. Right. Because it's so monochrome. But it worked really out really well. To. Oh my God, it worked out so well. 
I love it. Hopefully I can do this girl justice as well. You can, you can, you can. I'll help you. I, I think you have enough. I believe you have enough detail. And well, it looks great. Well, like that. As soon as you look at it up close, it's a disaster. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, I've sent where I'm at uh, with my picture, and I think I'm I messed up something. Okay. Let's see. I think you're. Uh, let's see. Who said that, Ani? Yes. Yeah. Take a look at this um, before you get these inside lines. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send this over to you, Ani, so you can see it better. Mm -hmm. Here, take a look at these. Start over with the inside lines on that big one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Start with the biggest shapes. Here, 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 here. Right. right? Yeah. Don't try to bring in too many through lines. Try to do mm -hmm. it in kind of this broken way. It'll actually probably turn out better. Broken right. little pieces. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else is okay. Great job, you guys. You're killing it. Knocking it at the top. Let's see. Hi, Leah. My connection's really bad, but I've just sent something to you. I'm not very happy with it. I feel like this shape is too wide. I think you need to, where's your half, where's your halfway point of your, of your canvas? When I mean the halfway point, I mean the very center point. Can you take a picture and mark it out for me? That's where I feel like the problem is. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's in the same place as your. It's here. Oh yeah, and I, we keep losing Emma. That's a bummer. Um, Emma, this is what I would do. I'm just gonna send her a note. Annika, this thing this swoopy thing is absolutely not right there. That's one plane change, and that's not what's happening. Remember, I'm going to have you take a relook at the relationship. Look at these. I want you to look at these, the relationship of this to here. This is one, a shift, a straight line over, straight line down, straight line down, straight line down. Look at the relationship between this shape. And this one, try to create this shape, right? Between your two cars and you will see where you're off.
I'm gonna have to completely redraw these lines. But that's okay, it's hard. I'll be right with you guys. Give me one minute. Hey, 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 let's see. Not bad, Louise. Good job. Get your get in your inner shapes now. That's going to be the fun part. <laughs> Good I keep, job. I keep redrawing the the round bit, the light inside the big car, and feeling. Yeah, once you find yourself, okay. You mean this one here, or this one, or this one? That that one, the last one. Um, start with these ones up here. Okay. All right. And then you'll see, like, you're gonna kind of deal with this, like a set of angles, and then this will come below, and you'll need room for these things. Try to center this first. Do you, if you notice, when I drew this, this was the last thing I drew. Right. After okay. I drew everything else, because I wanted okay. to make sure I had those shapes right first. Okay. Okay. It's so uh, non. It feels non-intuitive, but really, it's just you're training yourself to think differently. Right, you have to think in a different system, which is why it feels so ugh, tedious. You guys are doing great. Um, fairly soon, I'm going to send out a. Fairly soon, I'm going to send out a. I'm going, to send out. I'm going to send out a survey, which uh, I'd like you to fill out about like how the classes are going for you, how the timing is working, what you'd like to learn, these kind of things. It's going to be like a fairly straightforward. It's not going to be, don't worry, I'm not going to like, it's going to be a bunch of like multiple choice questions. questions. Yeah. So I can like kind of, I'd like to revamp the schedule so we get more people coming to class. So it'll help me if you can tell me like, and what about the class is working? What about the class isn't working? Some things I'm not going to be able to address. I can't really make this class rush me earlier than it is. Right. But I can create classes that are at time easier for you to to make so that's kind of but also we should think about like what you know what kind of subjects should we be covering 
particularly you guys, we're kind of motoring forward. So does anybody want to see? Come on up, say, show everybody. Your big dad said. Come here, Hermes. Let's go. Oh, I'm so here. here, I'm going to show, I'm going to give you a quick Hermes break. Here he is. Hello, Hermes. Hello. He's still a doll, isn't he? He is an absolute doll. He is the happiest. He's a very happy cat. And that's fantastic because he's pretty easy going because you're kind of giving shelter to his new cats and you know. Oh, he loves it. You know, like it's great for him. He thinks it's fabulous. Well, I guess not because he lives with his whole this old lady who hates him. <laughs> I mean, <we'll> cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh truth he does he lives with the old lady who hates him poor little dude <laughs> i can't thank her this old lady actually she's very sweet she she's just lovely like energy. she's just like i mean it totally makes sense right and actually because boy muka the stray is so good natured she doesn't mind him either you know, like she kind of, she kind of sort of plays with him too. Oh, well, it's fantastic. cute. It's really it's good cute. for her. You know, in a way, that's what you were looking for to kind of make her feel younger. Yep, exactly. So now mm -hmm. I just figure out how I have to get him in to get uh, neuter than all of his shots and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you know uh, they say it's best not to do it all in one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that means you'd have to capture it tw twice. But... I think so. I think so. I think I'll do it. You saw him climb into my lap the other day. Yeah, that's amazing. It's really cute. It's just like, he's kind of frantic. If, I mean, uh, for we're a feral not... cat. I just don't think he's feral anymore, you know? I mean, and you know, Muka was a feral cat too, who also just immediately had this personality of wanting to be with people. He's just like, I think they know a good thing when they see one. Some do, you know, some never do. Some really don't. It's interesting how that, don't you find that interesting how different cat personalities are? Uh, completely. But it's interesting, you know, because horses are like that too. And Are they? I remember when I, you know, horses, like when they, they always live in a group and there's some that they really hate and some they're friends with. Um, I mean, yeah. And it, it's like us, you know? Just like us. Exactly. It's very um, obvious with horses. And, you know, people in a stable, they'll tell you, you know, he doesn't like this one. Or, you know, the way that they need to get introduced. Um, they're exactly like us. The way of personalities, I mean. Actually, Sandra, it's funny that you should say that because, like, earlier this year. Um, so my parents live in the countryside and recently um, their neighbor has landed some uh, some land uh, to an association which is um, taking in horses which uh, are in the later stage of their life. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's beautiful. And, and so there are two horses hanging around there and I always liked horses but never had too much contact and um yeah and one day like I was at my parents on a holiday and one of the horses just somehow got out of the fence and he got scared that he was out of the fence and started running around the fields and uh we went to to call the lady who's looking after them so that we could put him back in the fence and um So. Okay, these look fabulous. Rosh just said about horses. Yeah, they just. Uh, yeah. They also uh, have the soup. Rashmi and I have Anik, this I just every morning when I. Go ahead. Sorry. They have the hippodrome there, and the horses are also in the fences. 
like uh, in the morning, at least in summer, in, in autumn when it's not too cold. And there are two, those two, one is grayish, the other is brownish, and they uh, like uh, greet it, each other in the, every, every morning. You know, they oh. come to the one side of the fence and they basically, you know, like, like uh, a little bit snuggle and, and with, with the mazes and, and, and stuff. They look so cute. Mm -hmm. Um, can you guys hear me, by the way? Are you guys yes, able to hear yes, me? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I got out. Uh, Emma, did you see the corrections I sent you? Your two. Yes, you but I'm really it. just struggling. I'm just. Are I you paying? Know. I you... measured it as we as you went along, and I thought I had all the measurements right, and I've cut. I've just cut the side off, but it so feels now like the second car is too big. The second car, the sl smaller one. Yeah, I'll send it to you again. Well, erase, well, erase the smaller one and get the bigger one in place before you put the smaller one in. You're probably trying to base things off of drawing the smaller one because it looks easier. And in reality, I think the bigger one is probably easier to get in shape. Uh, let's see here. Looking for. Um, uh, should I cook some stuff? I don't see it. Yeah, huh? if you want to. Uh, Rashmi, yours looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. Good to uh, fix. Um, good fix. I feel like these, uh, let's see here. I'm going to show you. Rosh, the only thing I think you should pay attention to is these feel a little bit, these ones feel a little bit too skinny to me. You might want to beef them up just a little, you know, widen them just a little bit on either side. Other than that, that looks great. Look at your, look at that. Good job. Great job, you guys. Wonderful. I think starting oh, wow. with the bigger car helps a lot. What's that? I said, uh, I said starting with the bigger car helps a lot. It did, lot didn't it? The smaller car can do. Yeah. Right. Because of course, this is our primary subject, right? And then this one is in relation to this one. It's easy to make things too big. You guys are doing great. So, Emma, what are we having for supper? Yeah, what are we having for supper, Emma? Pizza. What She's are we laughing. having for supper? I don't yes. know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Pizza, Sorry. pizza. Pizza, pizza. Um, once we've done this, yes, I guess we'll, I like the idea of doing a yellow underpainting here. And I think that's what we should do. And the yellow underpainting is the thing. Um, I'm going to pick yellow. I'm going to wait a little bit though, because I have a feeling we're actually going to get there. I want everybody to kind of tweak their drawings. Though, if you're ready to go ahead, go ahead and start a. Remember, you're still going to need your lights and your darks. So your yellow here is going to need to be darker. Your yellow here will probably be need, need to be either watered down with a lot of water, or perhaps mixed with a little white. Let's see. Oh, see, Louise, that was better, right? Yeah. yeah. It's better. Um, this line curves down a little bit more. And can you see there's a little, oh, it's just looking better. It's looking better. I keep feeling like the, the overall car, like I've made it a bit too big somehow. When I um, you have not that this shape is not quite right. It's a little small. Look mm -hmm. at and it comes in a little bit more, but it's a very subtle. Uh, this is a very subtle thing because I see you really try try nipping this in and putting mm -hmm. in this light shape in here underneath this light shape, right? Yep. So really, it comes back to shape. When you're starting to correct like that, um, when you're starting to correct like that, it's looking at shapes. What is this shape here? What's happening here? What's happening here? Right? Oh, I just realized this is coming out too far. More space here.
Let's see how I just corrected that. Good job, everybody. It's fun, isn't it? It's like not it's it's hard, but not in the but manageable hard and not in the ways that you think. Yeah. Yeah. You know how we use um, Bristol paper for ink? Mm -hmm. but what else is Bristol paper used for? I was very surprised. I was looking at uh, the other day and it, it said you can use it for watercolor. Do you? I I think you could. I think I, I imagine it's used for a lot of mixed media stuff. Right. And I think people who do like um, batteries, ink, or do like pen. Some people. Yeah, I think pencil, I think but... it's a sturdy, it's sturdy and it's smooth. But it you doesn't know, so absorb that... like watercolor paint. Right, exactly. So you kind of figure out what mediums, just like anything, you figure out what mediums things. I imagine as a mixed media, it would be fabulous. I mean, I only use it for ink, but I was I was surprised to find out people use it for all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like anything. Well, no, I mean, some media are much more suited to one thing rather than another. Well, but I think you can, I mean, I think a lot, anything can be adapted depending on what you want to do with it. That is the inventiveness of, uh, of uh, you know, art and the artist. That's where we really start to kind of make our own mark, right, on things as it were by learning about the properties of the thing and then like figure and then testing it to see what else can you do right no it's i think it's fascinating i think that's one of the and that's of course where you guys all are right you've been working most of you have been working fairly consistently but i have things that i do i'm i'm not a mixed media artist really so i don't really teach you anything like that um but i'm sure there are mixed media artists that totally use bristol Right. It's uh, it's an interesting it. thing. I, you know, I mean, it's like the beauty of it.
Okay. Anybody's ready to go on, let me know. But if you're just, I told you, you'd spend a while at this stage, which is okay. It's okay if we don't even make it to the underpinning until next week. Or it's okay if we do. We have a lot of rain today. It's when I think the Nicole storm is over us. Now, uh, Emma, is this Oscars? So there's a lot of, let's see, this line, yeah, it's hard. Um, and constant interruption is not helping. This line that you have here is not there. <laughs> That's number one. Number two, this circle is much bigger and lined up with. So the biggest problem you have, Emma, is that this shape isn't correct. So this shape needs to be correct, bigger. And then this needs to be positioned really under most of it. And there is no line here. You've got these lines here. You've kind of imagined them. They just aren't there. So this, so this needs to be erased. This needs to be redrawn and much bigger. And then you'll be able to get this shape correct before you try to do these. Get rid of those. Make this much bigger. This is huge. It's like right next to us. Let's see. Linda, I'm going to say for you too, I think this, so this line, you have this line going this way. It might be a little bit, I think it's, I think this comes out a little bit more to the right. It's bigger, slightly longer. I think that, I mean, from what I see from the picture that I have on my computer, it's quite You're good. actually You're going, okay. yeah, going the other way around, in fact, like the, uh, the maybe shadow. that's true. I the still think it is. should go a little bit. You're probably right. I still think you should go a little bit, bring it a little bit more this way, a little to the right. Ah, okay, yeah, in that yeah, sense. It's too oh, small. Yeah. Mine might be a little I've, big, but I think actually in relation. I've, can... uh, I have to say I have a different cut of the picture. Right, also this is not uh, big. This, is, this should be bigger, but bigger. otherwise okay. this looks good. Can I yeah, send you maybe the picture of? I'm going to let you figure it out. If you're not working okay. with my crop, I'm going to let. Yes, I. I yeah, I'll exactly. You have a different different crop. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I think you got it. Okay. I just think what I'm seeing is a little bit bigger uh -huh. here. Yeah. 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 That, that makes um, sense. I prefer okay. not to work with a different crop just because that might mess with my head. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> it's just that I have to. I get it. I had to adapt yeah. to my to the shape of the canvas as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I got yeah, you, yeah, you got it. But, it looks mm -hmm. really good. It looks really good. But I think the same principle still apply, which mm -hmm. is that this is bigger 
and this shape mm -hmm. is bigger. So if you get those okay. going, then you'll got then you've got it. You've got right. it. Thank you. You're welcome. And I actually appreciate that you kind of took the initiative to tweak that, right? So that it works. I think that's great. I think that's amazing. I like that you did that. Does anybody feel like their drawing is done yet? I'm still working on it. I I I I moved to underpainting actually. I started. Uh, you started the underpainting. Okay. Yeah. Started it, and I think it, I'm gonna do it in two colors actually, two types of yellow. Great idea. All right, I'll do the same thing. Uh, let me get my. Louise, are you still working in watercolor? Yeah, sorry, I okay. still have a... You're going to need to, you're white, you're going to need to keep white. Yeah. No color on them, right? So there's a lot of whites here. So you're going to like just leave them blank. Your darks are where you're going to build your color from. So just re remember that. You're going to see me do something different. Uh, but uh, you are going to stick to keeping your whites white because you don't want to go too dark with those, mm -hmm. as you know, because you'll. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Anik, out of curiosity, what colors are you using? I'll be using the Naples yellow mm -hmm. and cadmium yellow. Oh, interesting. Not what I would have expected. Yeah, I know. I normally I would go for Aliza and Crimson. Yeah. I open. I like that. I'm gonna go with yellow ochre and cadmium yellow medium. So you have choices here. Hold on. Rather than cadmium yellow. Maybe. So there's cadmium yellow medium, yellow ochre, maybe a touch of white. So I can lighten any color I want to. And then, yeah, let's start with the darkest colors, which I'm going to start with as a yellow ochre, and I'm working with a fairly thick brush as usual. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Sorry, it totally is. It's gonna be really neat. And I'm kind of working all around. Here. When you find yourself going, what is that? Don't worry. Let's see. If you find yourself going, is that the end of the car or the beginning of the what a what a? Don't worry so much. Unless you're working in watercolor, then you just want to be careful not to go too dark in your light areas. You know, I think I'm actually I've decided to leave it and get acrylics. And then Yay! Just... You will not regret it. <laughs> I'm quite happy. Quite happy for once with the drawing, so I don't want to mess it I'm up with very the <laughs> I totally that makes me happy. This is like kind of a uh I mean it's a doable drawing, but this is kind of a challenging drawing. By the way, you guys are all killing it. Very doing a very nice job. Do you see how I'm kind of very quickly? You'll love it, Louise, because look at what I can do here. I can cover up so much so fast. 
<laughs> it looks really fun. <laughs> I know, right? And then if I, I can go lighter on top, which is really kind of the whole reason to do any of this. Okay, let's see. There's that. And we're almost done anyway, I think, right? So for those of you who want to, you can go this extra step. For those of you who don't, just keep working on the drawing and we'll take a little time to focus on the underpainting the next time too. I'm proud of you guys. Sandra, I'd love to see where you're at. Um, um, the end of class. Can I show you now? Yeah. Okay, so I thought it looked awful, but actually when I step away from it, like I went to make a coffee, it looks like a dog, so. Isn't that funny? So so I decided to start by working the eyes. So the eyes look weird right now because I'm beginning to work on them. Hold it up. Let's see. Oh, Sandra, Jesus. That looks amazing. Look at this, you guys. No, but it doesn't really. It does. It's really good. It looks I just really put good. The lines and... It's awesome. It looks okay. like, like he, he has a fe feelings in this picture. On Can you red. hold? Yeah. yeah, I feel like you captured his emotion. Can you hold up the picture, so Sandra? I think you got him. Yeah. Oh my God. So yes, as I say, when I look at him, he looks in person, he doesn't look quite like. Well, we are in the beginning stages. I think you're on the way. You're well on the way. Thank you. Yeah, and it, it's not really yet. It looks like a dog. So it looks I like not only eyes, a dog, dog, it looks like that dog. <laughs> I hope so, because she was such a beloved dog. But I want to do her justice. You know what? Oh. I can't find my way. I ask the dog for help. And did she answer you? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have done that too. It helps. I have done that too. Particularly, well, I think for departed animals, it works well. It works for animals and people. And I think I told I've you about my heard. friend Lisa, Lisa, who drew her grandmother who has basically no, doesn't really have drawing skills, doesn't practice it, who drew this like spot on picture of her grandmother. See how quickly I did that? There we go. I did that quickly. So you don't get too caught up in it. It's looking cool already though, isn't it? <laughs> get that. Oh my God. It's like, I just think painting is yes, so it's amazing. looking like what it is. I, I just think painting is so amazing. I cannot believe that, you know, that this works. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Nuts. Just by doing the lights and the darks. Yeah, Louise, you're going to love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited now. Yeah, we've got 20 minutes left. So wherever you're at. Oh, yeah, guys. Uh, Let's see, Annika, that looks a lot better. I think your uh, window here needs to be longer. Here. If you have yours kind of caught in this position, I think you should be extended down a little bit. That's for Annika. Okay, yeah. 
And then, uh, let's see. That's better, Emma. That's better, much better. Um, and Emma, it also, I think this is looking really close. So all I would say is, if you want to start painting, start painting, right? Get in your darks and your lights, because that will probably help. Or just sit with it for this moment and look at it for a while and then do any like last minute corrections. But I think you really got it. You really pulled it from the brink. It's doing great. I love see oh, Linda, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Linda. Yeah. This is good. This is exciting. What do you guys want to do in the winter after we do our basics? Do we keep on painting? Did we do the ink in October? I can't remember. I mean, we did. No, we've been painting. Everybody said they wanted to paint. Okay. Um, we could go back and do something like that. So we've just I'm okay. Painting. I'm doing my own thing, so it doesn't matter. Right, right. right. You can do whatever. You, right. You, as you know, you will do whatever you want to do. I'm curious to know kind of where the group wants to go. And if you don't have ideas, I'll probably develop. I might bring us back to drawing for a little while in all the mediums. Portraits. Portraits? Is that what I heard? Yes. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Of humans? Yes, probably. Although Diana did find the cutest picture of somebody's cat with its face in a plant. And I think we should do that one after this car. It's very cute. It's a scene. It's totally a scene. Uh, portraits, you're right, Rashmi. That would be it. Portraits and then figure, drawing and painting. Actually, you're absolutely right. That's where we would go. That's the natural progression. Let's do it. Unless anybody has other ideas. And of course, you can do whatever you want. I think it would be nice to come uh, come back to portraits and basically figure drawing for a while. It's Maybe like we a do nice a quarter day. of drawing, yeah, like portrait a check and figure, <laughs> and then we'll uh, in the spring we'll shift over to drawing and then painting those things. I think that's great. I love that. Anyway, just keep thinking about it. We're all just we're just kind of hedging ideas. This group is a particularly consistent group. You guys have been consistently coming. Um, we can, so really, you know, as much as anybody, what you want to do next, right? Like, you know. By the way, look at what's kind of neat about this is how even though in places, my lights kind of run into my darks, my darks, my edges of things aren't so clear that that actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> actually kind of works. That is part of the magic of painting and also of seeing things beyond the literal subject that they are, seeing them in relation to everything around them. Sometimes there are lost edges, right? Which is uh, where you can't, where, where a shadow runs across an area and you can't really see the end of one thing, the beginning of another. And that can convey more depth. Showing that can convey more depth than trying to like make the shape of, you know, everything perfectly obvious. So it's really interesting. We've got about 10 minutes left. Great work today. You guys, great work. So proud, so proud. Yeah, yes. Fabulous. Oh, yeah, fun, Anik. <laughs> 
<laughs> so fun. And it's it, yellow, I love it. Yeah. That's Works for me. <laughs> I thought this that is can, gonna... that should basically the, 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 the sky has to be darker, way darker. So. Well, it Sienna does, board. right? Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. So what is that third color, yellow ochre? Uh, Rose Sienna. Rose Sienna. Ooh, beautiful. I love raw sienna. I love how you go to those colors. You're just a naturally cool colored painter. You go straight to all the cool colors. It's fabulous. I prefer, uh, earthy. <laughs> you really prefer them and they're fabulous. It's fabulous. It, and it will affect in a good way or in a way that is your way, right? Like it, that's mm -hmm. one of the ways you kind of reclaim your own. Um, so this is really interesting because this painting is such a light out of the dark painting. We are actually starting with the lightest colors because we want those those yellows to kind of come through. Normally, we'd start with like something darker, maybe even a black and white. But in this case, what's really going to give us glow are these yellows. Nice, Rashmi. Good job. Good job. If you want to uh, go in on your brights again and just brighten up everything. Nice. It's fun to kind of just let it go, isn't it? Loose and just. And then you really start to see, look at this. Talk about breaking things up. Like we have this light section here and here. And then everything else is kind of dark, almost in a heart shape. You sort of see how the dark and the light kind of interplay with each other. Never ending. It's never endingly interesting.
Okay, we got a few minutes left, a couple minutes left. Men snälla inte här nu. If you will now sign off tonight, if you will on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Bye, Mia. Okay, everybody. Hmm? I will sing our sign off for now. I will see you all. All right. Although second, uh, do me a favor, Rashmi, turn on your thing for just a second. I want everybody to hold their pieces up yes. wherever they are. Ani, you too. Hold them up. 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 Oh, Linda, very bold choice. Interesting. Ani, oh my God, Sandra, that's going to be incredible. It's already I'm, good. Emma, I like you. I like voluminous. Yes. And Emma, this is already oh, Emma, looks great. great. They're, they look great, don't they? Rashmi, where's yours? They're really great. And it yeah. looks great too. Look at how everybody's, uh, Emma, do you see how much of the corrections have happened? Like since you got paint on it? Yeah. Don't look so stressed. It's much better than you think it is. <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> that's Fucking fabulous. Well, I'm We're very sorry. Far from it, so it's it's so fabulous. And you know I don't say that lightly. It is coming. You've got it. I feel like you've got it. Anyway, and yet fabulous. it looks awful up close. Uh, no, it looks, doesn't. It doesn't. But it, doesn't but it, it looks better in the camera. You know, yeah. it's one of these. All right, you guys. Great okay. to see everyone. Uh, there is a uh, drawing class to, uh, tomorrow morning. If anybody wants to join me in LA time at eight o'clock tonight, there will be a beginning drawing class. Uh, there is a uh, drawing on Saturday. We're working on live still lives on Sunday. There's another caricature class and then uh, my class uh, drawing and painting, oil painting things. We're working on a road scene. Uh, we'll be starting a road scene. So uh, come join us.
We'll see you guys. Great work today. Thank you. Bye. 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 B